I'm glad that you took some time out of your busy life to pamper yourselves and to just sit back and relax and enjoy a short horror because today is short horror Sunday. Now, this is a particular request because um, most of our short horrors come from a channel on YouTube called Alter. Um, but this one was a suggestion. And um, so I thought I'd check it out. And this one is from a channel called Unhinged Pictures. The short is called No Sleep Tonight. Um, it's about three minutes long. And the information of the music and who directed it and so forth, I'll have that in the descriptions. Also a link to the original short horror. So as we always like to give credit where credit is due. Um, hope that you enjoy short horror. But it's just, we treat it just like the music as far as we want to support and appreciate filmmakers as well as our musicians and comedians out there for everything that we do reactions to. So please support them and take care of them. Um, that being said, you know what? Wait a minute. The aesthetics don't look too creepy enough. You know, you want to sell the part, so you need to do something about that. <laughs> Better. All right. So let's see what this is all about. I will commentate more afterwards. Hope that you're having a good day. Although after this, that may change. Hope that you survive. Here we go. That book just take girl in pieces. This goes to show, this is a perfect example of how, what was it, three minutes and four seconds. 
maybe three minutes because there was credits going up. Three minutes, no dialogue, but how it still can give you a chill effect, some goosebumps, and freak you out. That's talent right there, in my opinion, because, I mean, um, from a person who loves horrors and watches has watched many horror movies, you know, even something like a scream or something like adds the intensity or some type of dialogue. But to me, if you have no dialogue, to me, you have to really sell the sizzle and really affect people without saying anything. So this was well done. Like it was even though it was three minutes, which is fast when you think about it, it still felt if this makes sense, spaced apart. It wasn't like, it wasn't like, boom, there's the creature, boom, there's the creature, boom, there's the creature. It was like, it was like, okay, she's picking up a book, which <laughs> the book had to say girl in pieces. Um, and then you, she slowly saw something and then the lights went, she turned the lights on and then it wasn't there. You know what I mean? So it spaced it out, even though it was in three minutes. So also the look on her face, like, I like how. I try to notice, I'm pretty good at noticing little things here and there because I'm a freelance web designer, so I'm always looking. But I liked how when it first showed the apparition and stuff, um, and it showed like, it then panned to looking through her eyes. It was like blurry at the end. And that to me made it realistic because like she looks like she was half sleepy. So sometimes your vision is blurred and you're not focused. So I would think naturally anything, anytime you, that happens, you would think, Okay, I must have thought I saw something, but I didn't. Um, and then she turned the light on and it was gone. But oh my God, when it came back and then she threw the covers over it. And then that creepy part when like you saw like the bump rise up in the covers, that freaked me out. That made me think of some movie that I saw years ago that's one of my top three favorite horrors called Hell Knight. Let us know in the comments if you saw Hell Knight years ago with Linda Blair who was like the queen of horror, I, f I feel, back in the 80s. And it was this one scene when about a carpet, a giant carpet, that's compared to what I just mentioned about the blanket part. Uh, I don't want to spoil or alert it, but check out Hell Knight. But this thing was creepy. And then at the very, very end, you see it with some scissors, so you know some hair is cutting going on. Who knows what else it might do. Um... But then it makes me realize, suppose that crap really happened in real life. Like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> I hope I sleep tonight. Oh, my God. But that's, well, I don't have much hair to cut anymore. But that was really, really good. So no sleep tonight. Let us know how you felt about that. Did you get any chills up your back? Did you get, you know, like, plus it was quiet. Like, when you have something that's so quiet, like, it was a little bit of music, but it was still delicate. But the quiet, like I could almost hear her breathing um, and like despair. So that added the intensity, like it kind of helped you build your own uh, breath. You know what I mean? So I liked it. Very well done. So shout out to the people that made this happen in this short film. Um, I appreciate you and let's support them. OK, uh, this definitely gets a stamp and a movie pass for me. Let us know if you give it a stamp in a movie pass. Wow. This is Taz with Taz and Philly. And I want you all to take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>